enjoy this content, easily like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more. Yes, Ron and Austin here. As we get started, tell us who you are and, and what you do. I'm Ron Hicks. I'm the founder and CEO of Herdex. And this is our CTO, Austin. Yep. So first questions first. What is Herdex? Herdex is a fabulous idea, if I can say that. Self-proclaimed. Um, somewhat biased, but I will be <laughs> honest. I came out of retirement to do what I hope would be a change for livestock across the world. One was to become an environmentally friendly solution, not easy to address, but something we feel like we've accomplished. So Herdex is a third-party provider, a way in which we can take livestock, improve the system, and bring it to a consumer and improve the transparency. That's basically Herdex. So that's a pretty broad statement. What does that actually entail for the livestock especially? So it's a big change. So livestock in general is, I would call, less transparent by design. They're typically animals raised in areas that are very, very isolated. And by design, it has to be because they're out in the middle of nowhere. So they're somewhat hidden. In general, there are pretty good ranches out there, pretty good feedlots, and they have no real way of broadcasting a positive performance animal. So the goal for Herd X is to authenticate that through data. So how does it do it? Like I first talked to you, I looked in my email to find out exactly how long we've been chatting. It's, it's been over a year now. So mm -hmm. June of 2018 was kind of our first contact. And at the time, you were describing kind of the vision part of it, but mechanically, like what is it about livestock? You know, you and I have had a lot of conversations about mm -hmm. um, what it does. Mm -hmm. And we know, you know, part of it is that transparency to the, even all the way to the end consumer. So how does it do that? That's what we we're kind of looking for. It's like, you yeah, know, yeah. What, think, what does the system do? So there will probably be steps in there. I think the initial approach is, you know, what was working 50 years ago, what worked 100 years ago. And if you look back, you'll see kind of an art to raising animals, even in a more quarantined or confined area. And it was this pin rider. You had this gentleman that would show up, you know, long sleeve shirt. He was kind of the premier dude that, of the day. And he'd come in and he would cut through cattle. His goal to find animals that were moving in somewhat of a, what we'll call an anomaly. If he could separate that one animal, then he could determine that that animal may need some additional assistance. Maybe check and see if there's a temp, some other things. They don't have that. You've got to have the position now because if I'm still keeping it Google, then I'm going to have to go through the whole thing again. Yeah. So I need to be careful about that. We're going to do this walkthrough. Uh, this is going to take us two minutes. What I want to show you how to search. Okay? Remember, I'm at Google, so it's important you guys understand how does Google search. Maybe it's more important to understand how do doctors search. So go to Google, but don't type in Google. Type in Google Scholar. Type that in. Tell me all, tell me, tell me you're there. Tony, are you doing that? So you just type into the search engine, Google Scholar. Then when it opens, hit Google Scholar. Okay? So now you're in a search engine. You're not in Google's search engine, you're in Google Scholar search engine. There's a huge difference. In the Google Scholar search engine, you're looking at peer-reviewed information. If you go to Google and search, you're not looking at peer-reviewed information. You're looking at ad text. People can purchase, put their name on there. People can fake news and stick stuff on there. But in a peer-reviewed Google Scholar engine, you're looking at information that others look at that are in the same peer groups. So you tend not to embarrass yourself, right? So that's why you're in Google Scholar right now. Right, so everybody in it, Google Scholar. Yes. Okay, let's type in some words just for fun. Put in ERW. That's electrolyzed reduced water. ERW, and then just put the word in diabetes. So you're in Google Scholar, you're in that search engine. Now put in ERW diabetes. What comes up? What's the very first title? Tony, do you have it? What? Are you kidding me? 
the very first title, the top search, listen to this, in peer-reviewed articles. Is that one? Now again, the search is not based on ads, and it's not based on fake news. These are peer-reviewed articles, which physicians will look at, including me and my friends around the world. And if I say, hey guys, look at ERW Diabetes, they call me back and said, whoa, what's it say? Electrolyzed water reduces what? Diabetes. Diabetes. That type 1 and type 2. Is that a good article? Yes. So I'm saying this to you right now. We heard earlier information about where was the study done? What city is Dr. Horace Stelzer from? I know Horace Stelzer. I did work with him years ago at one, one of the top awards in the world. He's a pretty good doctor, I would say. I wouldn't ask him where he does his studies. I just know who he is. That's all you need. If you want to talk about Horace Stelzer, get this book. This has just came out. And Tisha had a few of them. They're already all sold out, right? You sold everything. So here's the studies. Here's what I'm trying to do with you all. If you're going to learn about how to position yourself with your teams for next year, you're going to have to learn about how to search. If you tell someone just search about ERW or hang in water and they go to Google, you're in real trouble. Anything that anybody wants to post, any lie, can come to the top. Anybody that has tons of money can force a message to the top, which is completely false. So billion dollar corporations, if they want to disjoint somebody, can move their level to the top. But in the peer reviewed Google Scholar perspective, it's peers. So other doctors are reading the same pilot study you guys just saw. This clinical trial is being read, or it wouldn't be uh, number one. To the top? See how it's working? Nobody's buying it. It's being read so often. This is how Google works. So searching it. So let's have some more fun. Ready? Let's look for one more. I'm going to take you to an article that's even, to me, more fun. Because it's easier to read than that one. Type into Google Scholar, curcumin. I just did this with Bobby just a little while ago. Okay, C U R. C-U-M-I-N, curcumin. You're in Google Scholar, right? So don't do it in Google. Google Scholar, type in the word curcumin. Tell me when you're there. Now let's type one more word after it. Curcumin, so this is turmeric. That's the term for, turmeric is actually the generic term. Okay, C-U-R, C-U-M-I-N. You have that? Now type in, next to it, next word, let's type in a doctor, C-H-A-N-D-R-A-N, Dr. Chandran. So you have curcumin and you have Chandran. What comes up? Wait a minute, what is that? Didn't you just ask that question earlier? If someone says, how much is too much turmeric? It's in the study. How safe is it? It's in the study. Yes. Is this a good study? Let me read it to you guys. This study, I just read it, <laughs> is 45 patients. Really easy to read for any of you in this room. If you want to sit down and have some fun, 45 patients were chosen by Dr. Chandran and Dr. Joel, and 15 were given just turmeric. 500 milligrams, the exact same that you have in your current case right here. 500 milligrams, which is about four and a half tablets, am I right? 120 milligrams per tablet? Yep, 600 for five. Four and a half. 500 milligrams. 15 patients were given that. Now what's it for? Rheumatoid arthritis. 15 patients were given a very successful drug and 15 patients were given the drug and the turmeric. Guess which one won? <laughs> Just the turmeric. Are you kidding me? Guys, think about that. If the drug and the turmeric were together, maybe some docs would say that's the win come true. However, that's not what the study showed. Just the turmeric without the drug in a peer reviewed study online right now on Google Scholar. Live tells you 500 milligrams will reduce inflammation of the joints on 15 patients in a totally randomized trial 
against the drug that's the most common drug today for arthritis, and it won. It's number one. If the drug and the tumor are together, it doesn't work as well. I'm telling you a lot of things here. Sometimes if you have arthritis, I'm not saying it's because of studies there. Why? I don't have a disclaimer here. I'm reading this live. You're seeing the same thing. The drug plus the turmeric is not as good as just the turmeric. Interesting, isn't it? Does it make sense? So guys, I'm sharing with you how to position your, your group if you're gonna do studies. And if you're gonna do studies, search correctly. So how do we search? Help me out. Okay, so what's another name for Kangen water? ERW. And if you wanna look at some really cool doctors, just look at who's being led to the top of those search engines, and those are the cool dudes, if I can say that. Because if you're at the top, people are reading the same thing you're reading. And that way, if you tell a physician or a medical practitioner, anybody, chiropractors, anybody, dentists, oral surgeons, researchers like myself, go look at Google Scholar, and I look at there, and it's the top article, guess what? You have my attention. And I'm not afraid of the mint machine now. You see it? Or I'm not afraid of turmeric. These are articles, guys. If you go to Google and do the same thing I just told you, we're gonna be here all night trying to figure out what you just you just opened up. The most ridiculous stuff you've ever read in your life. Now guys, I'm speaking about this at whose headquarters? Google. So I'm saying this to you. They know Google Scholar is a reviewed, peer-reviewed engine made for professionals and that's what you guys are you're professionals all right cool. so last thing i'm sure you want this news what am i doing up here um, i'm here because my wife she brought a machine home several years ago and i decided to test it like crazy not because i didn't trust my wife it was really expensive and if you guys heard of my my background I build medical devices. One of the number one in the world, by the way. And my wife brings a $4,000 machine home and she didn't really ask me to help her. She just put on a credit card and I didn't see the bill because she hides those bills, Tony. <laughs> now that she's a 683, she can hide as many as she wants. It doesn't matter anymore. 683? 685. Five. I watched the 685. Stand up, Okay, almost there. So here's my point. My wife, as you all know, is a homeschool mom. I'm winning awards all over the world in big magazines, running around with Sony and some of the BMW guys. And my wife's a homeschool mom, and she brings home a machine, and you just heard today what her level is. She was working one day a week because she was raising our son while I'm traveling everywhere. So when I saw the machine at the house, what did I do, Del? I opened that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't open it up like you guys would open it up. I brought in my award-winning scientist who would have great backgrounds in metallurgy and in biomechanics and in everything you can think of, electronics. One of my guys invented one of the top awards in General Motors for OnStar. He's on my team. These are guys that know what they're doing. So they open the machine up. What are we looking for? We're looking for holes. Because I'm a researcher. And guess what I found out? There are none. This machine is overbuilt. So, say that to you guys, because i got to get to the point Bobby wants me up here for. Tisha sold the machine to every scientist. All the guys looking for holes all bought a piece of equipment from her. Every single one. They're all over the world. So all of a sudden she had 12 sales. After getting a machine one night and didn't tell me about it, she's up now 12 because I'm trying to find holes in it. But I'm not missing it there. I decided to see what else was out there. And we got some of those machines. Are they loaded with holes? Yes, they are. I wouldn't buy a piece of equipment from any company other than Kangen. I'm here too. So, one bit of information coming out next year, these are information that's coming from our science team, is 
canyon use inside of an animal uh, study going on in Kansas. And the reproductive health of our animals are starting to improve at levels we could have never imagined. So that means the water is doing some amazing things in cattle. Is it important for our cattlemen? Yeah. It is. Is it important at a time right now where we're trying to talk about how to improve efficiencies in the farming operations? Yeah. It is. If you look at what Trump's doing and where he spoke, and I also spoke to my congressman about it, we've got to help get our farmers up. So I'm just sharing this with you guys right now. That's my goal to do that. But your goal, I would promise you, is to get your teams ready. Because as my research comes out, it's going to come out, people are going to start asking, where do I find this equipment? Who do I talk to? I got one. I got one. I got one. There we go. Seven digits. I got one. There we go. So see, there's a two hands that went up already. These guys are going to blow this thing apart. Look, you guys have to understand this. Animals are not biased. We saw that uh, dog video earlier. You should see my cattle videos. If you think these animals run the water, look at cattle. So the point is, I'm not out there because I can convince cattle to come to the water. They're just coming. And when people see that and then see white papers published on Google Scholar by our corporation, they're going to start asking, what about my family? And I'm not in that family business. My wife is. But you guys are. So as professionals that search properly, read the information I just showed you on Curcumin, right? Or ERW. You're positioned now with your team to go address all these uh, new buyers because they're coming shortly. So thank you guys for your time. Thank you. For the sake of my background, I'm doing this on behalf of my past, Dr. Kagan. Um, I built a medical technology that became uh, one of the most successful in the world in surgery. Mm -hmm. And this is important for you all to know in this room, the most difficult country to get approval for a medical device is Japan. Japan is the most difficult if you build medical devices. So I've done that. I built a medical surgical product that won one of the highest awards ever given. And the issue for me was Japan was the most difficult country to get my technology approved to be used. I was already in surgery in countries like France and Italy and in countries all over um, the world. And Japan was the last one to approve my product. So why am I saying it to you? You actually sell a Japanese product. You sell a product that's actually Japanese. What that says to me is, if it's approved as a medical device in Japan, and it is, then you have one of the most sophisticated approval processes right now in the world. Japan is the hardest. So if you have a Japanese product, you have already gone through what took me 12 years to go through. 12 years, okay? So, next slide. Can you all flip that for me? Medical devices, just in general, would come through a company like mine past, where you have to be an employee. You have to be actually employed. Why? All the liability that comes with a medical device would fall upon the employees themselves to describe it in perfect detail. Slightly different here. You guys are giving testimony, right? You're talking about friends and family and the lineage that's coming behind you. You're giving testimony, you're talking about a device, but you're really talking about a product. And if it really works, and friends and family are actually benefiting from this, your testimony is the product. That's what you guys are saying. Not a highly trained executive that's training a bunch of nurses or doctors, which is my past. So your, your testimony is the reason this product moves forward. That's a very rare position. Next slide. Seven to 12 years to get approved. Seven to 12 years to get approved. That's a common approval process. The United States is seven years, Japan is 12. Guess how much it costs to develop my last product? $30 million. That was just the US. So when I had to go to the other countries, we had to spend even more and even spend training uh, dollars to try to get individuals to actually help us to move that product. Why is Kangen so different? Because Kangen's based on your testimony and you guys rallying around, right? What works? 
And so the advantage of this product, to be really clear, is that this price that you're selling this product for today is so inexpensive in the medical field because they're not, the cost of all that training is being done by you guys as independent distributors, volunteers, and family members, and friends. You're not in a massive corporation where all the cost, liability, and all that is now having to be put into this product. So I think Kenyon's done a great job. They made the price affordable. What would this product cost in the US? It would be about three times that. If it were a medical device, US, offered under a medical company that I used to have, it would be three times what it cost to have the same product in the United States, which would make it almost impossible for you guys to put this in kitchens, right, and in other uh, areas of your home. So that's the advantage that you have. I think a lot of people that say it seems expensive have absolutely no idea <laughs> what they're saying. It's actually inexpensive. Am I right, Tish? When Tish brought the product home, I said, is that all it costs? It's a medical device. And she said, but it's being sold, right, as a health product in the United States. And it's being sold through testimony and through individuals like yourself. Big advantage for you guys. Next slide. Next slide, please. I just told you how much it costs to build a medical device. How many of y'all in this room have $30 million? I mean, that's a really good question. If you're going to go into business like I've been, right, in my late 20s, and you've got to raise $30 million or $100 million, you don't have to do that. Today, you can actually just buy a product that you really should have anyway. It should be in every house in New Zealand. And you're, you're in business. You didn't spend $30 million. So my point of this is to try to convey to you guys, because I'm trying to help inspire Kangan across the world. Um, I don't work for the company, but I've never seen anything like this in my life. You actually have a business that would have cost me $30 million to do when you leave here and sign up with somebody that brought you and purchase a product today, $30 million. This doesn't cost $30 million, does it, to me? No. No, it's the price of what the unit cost. And you now have a company you have a company day one. That's a big difference, you guys. I speak all over the world on how to start companies. In colleges and universities, I speak about how to startups get going in Israel. My excitement for these young startup companies is, do they really have a proven product? And will they have enough money to actually make it? Look at the difference here. You guys are all startups. And all you need is the equipment. And just your testimony. You got it? Next slide. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. This is not normal for me to be up here. Typically when I'm hiring individuals to work for me, we've got a whole process of credentials we have to look at and make sure that you have a background, that you can be actually saying the things that you have to say in medicine. Think about what you guys are doing. You're actually helping prevent people that have to go into the hospital, right? You're preventing the advantage, right, that maybe a doctor or surgeon might need by giving them an advantage way before that at a much lower price that you're already in business to go do, and you have all that at your hands right now, again, just by buying a unit. You also have already somebody like me, right? I'm using Tania because this is a lady that knows how to rally people, right? Christina's the same. You don't have to have a high paid executive. The individuals that are actually working with you are incentivized to at least help you get going until your business is very large. And then they're not really a, a trainer anymore. There's not a need. Kangan's style of business is incredible. It gives everybody in here the advantage of an incentive group to help you and then the advantage of you guys to go flying on your own, right? And build your own teams across the world. This is not normal. Again, it's not normal in my background, but in Kangan, it's very normal. Next slide. Let's just finish with these. These are the fun ones. Are there competitors to the Kangan units? There's not. 
And I'm going to turn that because I think this is important for Canyon Corporate to know this. If there was a competitor, is it, a, is it approved in Japan as a medical device? Of any of the equipment that's out there today, is it being used as a medical device in any hospital or surgical case anywhere in the world? If you can't find a competitor that has that, then there is no competition for this product. You see what I'm doing? So those that are out selling products that are competitors have a huge disadvantage because they're not really approved as a medical device. They may be approved as a health product, but if you're doing something for your health, wouldn't you prefer to have something that's proven, right? And so I'm sharing this with you right now. A competitor to me is how long, what's their background, what's the historical significance of that product, how well is it done in the medical field, what's the patient outcomes, these are things I look for. And in the case of this Enagic equipment in Hangen, it is a really very successful product from a medical background. You're selling it as a health product, but you have that advantage. So, if there's a competitor that's approved as a Japanese product, it'd be neat to see that, I'm not sure that they exist. If there's history of these other products that are being made today, I'm talking about history, 40 years? Or are they just made from last week? Or are they just being thrown out from some factory somewhere in China or some other country? Again, there's not a historical pers perspective. So the advantage to you guys is um, history and success. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you guys, because I'm gonna need help from you. Have you had anybody that's not benefited from this product in any way? Those that have already used it? Anybody? Has somebody not seen something happen in your body? I'm gonna give you some of mine. Are you guys ready? My wife brings this machine home Let's make it clear, this is her bottle, so she's got all the bling, right? <laughs> and I said this on the stage in Las Vegas, Christina, this is almost hilarious because uh, my wife didn't ask me, she just bought it. <laughs> now remember, she knows what medical devices should sell for, so because she likes a discount, she got a great price on it. Right? $4,000, I think. SD501. So I, uh, Tamia, decided that I would do something a little different. I was gonna prove, if the time this device was something she bought, that it probably wasn't exactly what she thought it was. And so I had my engineers <laughs> take it apart. <laughs> Am I right, Tish? I took it apart. She was asleep. <laughs> decided to look at the inside of my product. So I'm going to share this with you right now. Uh, my company is not published. We don't have a lot of online. We don't do any social media. The engineers that work for me are the most famous in medical device development in the world. I believe that. If you ever look them up, they're, when I go to these big conferences, everybody wants their autographs. These are really smart engineers. From every end of the scale, from data, from metallurgy, electronics, every aspect of medical device development, I have the best in the world, I believe. And I've won the best awards. So I have these guys take a look at this machine. <laughs> Here's what happened. They all called my wife and ordered their own equipment. <laughs> they didn't call me, they were afraid to tell me. <laughs> that there was no holes in this equipment. None. The platinum here is medical grade platinum. And if you guys have competitors that are talking about platinum, there is a huge difference between platinum and medical grade platinum. Medical grade platinum has to be certified. It cannot be diluted. Platinum in general, which I can purchase today, you get all different grades. But this one has medical grade platinum, and that produces the hydrogen gas. <coughs> It produces the high ORP negative charge you guys are getting. My engineers came back and said, this machine is so good, we need to talk to your wife. And I didn't know what they were gonna talk about. They all ordered equipment, all of them. <laughs> How many machines did you sell that day, Tish? 10. 10. 
Sold ten in one day. To the guys I asked to find holes in it. So, my wife is doing well, that's why she has the blink bottle. But I will say this too in closing, I really believe um, you guys have a unique opportunity. You don't have a lot of high upfront cost, which is what I have to live with. You have very little upfront cost because if the equipment already is needed for your own health, you have nothing to lose. And you have an immediate business and the liability that you don't have to be concerned about, right? Because if the machine works and individuals are becoming healthier, that's a great testimony for your lineage, for the younger generation that's coming behind us. If it's already working, then what do you have to be worried about? I think the opposite is, if anybody else is selling equipment that is not of the quality of this equipment, they're in real trouble today, as long as you guys can hold on to your testimony. So, my wife sold 10 to the top scientists in the world. I lost 13 pounds. I did. In three weeks, drinking this water, I sleep better than I've ever slept before. My blood pressure drops slightly. I have doctors that monitor me, you guys. I and mean, I have my blood taken all the time by my own physicians. And they all are saying, you're getting younger and you're getting more healthier. And I haven't changed anything except my water. That's all I did. I'm gonna have Tisha come up and just, I wanna give her a bottle back, she wants it back. And here's what I want to say to you guys, because this is important. I want to thank my wife for bringing this equipment home. I'm thanking my wife. I didn't invent this equipment, right? But she brought it home. She took a high risk, because if I, there was a problem with it, we would have found it. So, Tisha, thank you for the water. Thank you for having me today. <laughs>
although the Kangen Water level, the level UKK machine, the best machine that Kangen Energic offers in the Kangen Water Machinery selection, though they filtrate the water, they don't filtrate every you know piece of sediment, toxi, toxins, and all the quote unquote nasties that can be found dependent on your country of origin and your your municipal source water that is coming through your tap. So you're going to go have to go and get some better, an additional um, additive of pre-filtration units to your machine. So your Kangen Water Guy also has a website. So you can also find him on YouTube, your Kangen Water Guy, and you can go to his site. And he also provides specialty filters, which are also fantastic and great. And um, I have a friend and she, she utilizes them and she vouches them and endorses them as well. So that kind of, now that brings us to the culminating, culmination of this video. So again, if you are interested, you can contact me at my email. That is water at the thinking spirit.com, which is my, what my email for all of the Kangen water inquiries. And you can also contact me, direct message me at the thinking spirit on Instagram. So thank you for this, watching this video. And uh, thank you for the, thank you for your time. <laughs> If I can speak English today, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. So if you go to if you go to Instagram, you'll be able to go into my. I'll also provide my um my website down in the link below in the description. You can go into that that link, and you can actually book in a Calendly call, and I can give you a presentation, and we can have a chat. And any questions you have, I can help you. I can answer them if I can. And um, yeah, so I look forward to hearing to you, whoever's going to be reaching out. And uh, thank you for watching this video again. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.